This video is an update to my hero submission, Venom Ivy. Since submission, I've attempted to implement her through the workshop tools as a hero in a test custom game. This has allowed me to test her abilities and make some minor and a few major adjustments to her skill set. What follows is the result of bot testing and feedback from friends. Ivy Sling, similar to Power Shot, is a long range route that deals damage over time. It has a short channel time that amplifies the effects over the duration. It does not stun nor interrupt channeling. Ivy Sling's best feature is its range. Being able to hit targets up to 2,250 units away means Venom Ivy can choose to really stay back in fights. The damage is decent against heroes, although it's worth noting that each hero hit reduces the root duration by 20%. Ivy Sling is also Venom Ivy's only farming tool. When aimed and timed correctly, you can use this skill to damage multiple camps at once. Death Blossom enables you to refresh your last used, non-ultimate ability. This skill starts with a high cooldown, but at max level allows you to spam your moves, limited only by your mana pool. When used with Poison Powder, it grants one charge. This skill fixes the cooldown issues that Venom Ivy experiences at higher levels. The combination with Ivy Sling allows you to keep enemies rooted for double the duration, punishing targets if they group up. When used with Poison Powder, it essentially allows for a fourth charge, meaning you can reach over an 80% slow on affected enemies, granted you hit the moves correctly. Poison Powder is a charge base slow in a small area of effect that deals minor damage over time. The effects are stackable, meaning you can slow up to 62% for 8 seconds at max level. With a maximum of 3 stacks and fully stackable effects, you can choose to target the same heroes for big damage and slow, or use them across the duration of the fight. Poison Powder and Ivy Sling help set each other up, both not guaranteed to hit on their own, but when used together, allow for better control of enemies. With a 40 second charge time, it's important to save this skill for fights. The slow is more useful than the damage, and the skill isn't very useful in farming. Sanctuary is a large area of effect heal that provides health and mana regeneration. Allies in the area of effect have a strong dispel applied upon cast and on the spell's end. If predicted right, this spell is a strong counter to enemy AoE disables and silences. Sanctuary forces Venom Ivy into the fray of the fight. Where she would usually want to stay back, Sanctuary has a small cast range and she needs to be around her allies to make the most of this move. Purchasing Blink Dagger can make for some clutch saves on allies by blinking in from range and purging debuffs on allies who have been initiated on. Venom Ivy is very much a snowball hero. Powerful when ahead, but lacks damage when farm and levels are sparse. She is squishy and has poor physical damage output, meaning if she is targeted correctly in fights, she will not be a problem. Any dispels completely counter her damaging moves, and BKB stops her altogether. Venom Ivy has serious mana problems going into the mid and late game. It's for this reason I think Bloodstone is essential when she's played in a core role. Mana regen items such as Aether and Yules complement her moveset nicely, the latter of which provides a much needed disable for TPs. Positioning items such as Blink and Force Staff allow her to catch more enemies in the effects of her spells. Octarine and Refresher work very nicely with Death Blossom, allowing for some ridiculous combos if pulled off correctly. I've had quite some difficulty implementing talents. It's something I plan to do in the future, but for now, this is what I will hopefully get to implement when it comes round to it. Overall, I've had a lot of fun creating this hero. There has been a lot of reworking her skills, but I think that they are in a fairly balanced and fun place. She's a fun hero, and I encourage you to give her a playtest of your own. See the description for downloads and instructions on how to do so. Thanks for watching.